Hey, 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 guys, this is DJ Naruto, and guys, I'm giving you some gameplay of GTA 5. And right now, I'm just starting to play with Trevor, my very first time playing as him, guys. And guys, I will be doing a walkthrough on this game, but I will wait after I beat the story. And then I will do the walkthrough right after I beat the story because I really want to get through the story real fast. Because if I do a walkthrough, I might, I might take my time with it a bit because this game will be long as heck. So, yeah, guys. Also, this game is really, really awesome. Heisting is pretty awesome, guys. But what I want to tell you guys about heist, when you do heist, you should at least stay with like a lower like a like a less experienced person because even though like the more they level up and stuff their uh their rate will never change and what i mean by rate is that how much money they take so say if they started off as a of like a low experienced person like you choose a low experienced hacker and some low experienced people shooters if they level up a certain amount Say if they level up fully, none of that will change. That don't mean their rate, how much they, how much money they take will go up. It will stay the same. So if I was you guys, I'll just stay with my the same old, low, <laughs> like real, real low, no experience uh, people, people with no experience, and let them level up to the fullest so that they will be better in the future, like in future heists when you do more heists and stuff. It'll be awesome. So yeah. But yeah, heisting was pretty awesome. I might do gameplay on it when I do it again. I will show you guys. Freaking awesome. But I hired like more experienced gunmen because you need better gunmen than any other. But they'll take more money. But if you want to save money and get more money for yourself, I will go for the low experience ones. But try to at least go for the banks, the banks that don't have that much security and a lot of police to get on you. So yeah. But yeah. It's pretty awesome. This game is sick. It's beautiful. And you will be seeing some characters you see from the latest GTA. I mean GTA games. Not the latest ones, but the uh, previous ones before this game. Like you'll see... Uh, what's his name? I think his name Johnny from the Lost and Damn on GTA. You'll see him on this game, but I will not spoil nothing for you guys. But yeah, crazy things happen on this game, especially with Trevor. He's just like, <laughs> Trevor is crazy. It's pretty awesome too. His missions are pretty sick. He could take out a whole, like, like he is the reason that mainly the Lost Dam is extinct now. <laughs> he went in there and killed the whole team in this small trailer town, trailer park town. He just dominated all of them. <laughs> Freaking awesome. But yeah, guys, I will be giving you a walkthrough. And if you guys want to add me, just text me. I'll see what I can do. Well, probably not for now. I can't add nobody because I added a lot of people from GTA 4 who was getting GTA 5. So yeah, guys, I will just be uploading GTA 5 for now. It's going to be awesome, guys, especially on multiplayer. I will be giving you so much multiplayer content when that comes out. And yeah, and also about uh, adding me. If you got a Rockstar Social Social Club account, you can add me. My name is SnipeKid324. You can add me on there. I will add you. And yeah, guys, if you want some more GTA 5 content, please subscribe to me. It will really help out a lot. And I will be giving you some more gameplay soon. Especially this weekend, this Saturday, this Saturday and Sunday. I will be uploading crazy if I don't have no homework from school. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my vids and peace out. I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs. Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man, the Aztecas. It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Not one of the lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the inn. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out.
My soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. They're gonna green light you after this. You have been told. We was always cool. I don't like the way he's looking at me. I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. He's looking at me. I think he gets the message. Let's go. We can go now, right? Unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Downley, yes it is! Well, you told me about him. Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. He was locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job... Yeah... What do you think happened? I knew what happened. I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, or some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. Get out of the car, Ron. We need time to think. Run! Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. <laughs> 